Total Toastmasters and guests. I want to become a vampire. <laughs> and I want your clean, fresh, juicy red blood. That is so old school. Modern vampires are organized, have lobbied governments, and have lived by strict rules of conduct. First rule, no biting anyone under 17. <laughs> Second rule, no biting anyone without their signed consent. Third rule, no biting anyone whose blood is not eligible. The, the rules have made vampires respectable to the extent that they can operate in daylight hours. In addition, they're not based in that dreary old castle in Transylvania anymore. They have gone low low. They operate in more countries than Starbucks or McDonald's under the banner blood donor clinic. The closest blood donor clinic to you is at 3449 Sandwich Road. It's just by it's just south of Uptown, just before you turn into the Walmart parking lot. Now that you know where it is, why should you consent to donate in your blood as per rule number two? Every minute of every day, somebody in Canada needs a blood transfusion. Accident victims of serious car crashes require 50 units of blood. A unit of blood is 450 milliliters. I can go on and on citing facts. So I would ask you to go to this website or phone this number and find out all that information. I will take another approach. Your gift is a literally a gift of yourself to the grandparents and I know there are some in the room. Think of the times you have with your grandchildren, taking them for a walk in the park or going on fishing trips. These are special bonding moments. There are grandparents that depend on the inventory of blood to enjoy these moments. This is your gift. Again, to the younger parents in the room, how would you feel if you could not teach your son to ride the bike, or daughter, sorry, uh, or swing a baseball bat, or just play some street hockey with them? Blood transfusions allow moms and dads to experience these moments. That is your gift to them. And finally, and most importantly, the child with leukemia undergoing chemo treatment. Your blood transfusion transforms the child from a dejected, shriveled up person into somebody that's nearly normal, that can go to school, interact with friends, maybe <coughs> attend a special summer camp, or if it's a teenager, teenager just hang in the game. This is what you give them. I hope I have plucked on your heartstrings and may you consider going down to the clinic. If you're over 60, get a note from your doctor. At, at the clinic, you will run into bureaucracy. Uh, this is with regard to our rule number three. We need good blood, eligible blood. At the website, you will find out the reasons why you need that. Why you need that. Rule number three, you need eligible blood. The, your time at the clinic will be between 45 minutes and an hour and a half. The time, my time to fill up one of those units of blood. 450 milliliters in 6 minutes 14 seconds. I challenge under the contest, 
I challenge you. I challenge somebody here to beat that time. If if you are not eligible to donate, there is a fast track program for you. Look around you, your workmates, your friends, your family. Get somebody to donate for you. That means put the bite on them and you will get attained vampire status instantly. Before I conclude, I would like to mention two more facts. In Canada, one in two people are allowed or eligible to donate. Yet, only one in 60 do. 1,600 new donors are needed each month, month to maintain blood level, uh, the level of inventory. I hope I have plucked or hit hard on your emotions and made you think of going down. So, go down to the clinic. You can register online or by phone. Go down to the clinic, consent, and give the gift of life, and make me a vampire. Mr. Joseph.